Jennifer Connelly is a name that has graced the silver screen for over three decades, captivating audiences with her mesmerizing performances and undeniable screen presence. As one of the most versatile and acclaimed actresses of her generation, Connelly has navigated a diverse array of roles, seamlessly transitioning between dramatic, action-packed, and even fantastical narratives. In this comprehensive exploration, we will delve into the top 10 films that have solidified her place as a true cinematic icon. Starting off our list at number 10 is Stuck in Love. Kinnear plays successful author and teacher Bill Borgens, whose marriage to Erica, Connolly, has collapsed some time earlier. Though Erica is with a new man, Bill still loves her dearly. While he struggles to help his two children, his daughter Sam, whose own first work is soon to be published, and his son Rusty, who is working towards a career as a novelist himself. While Bill has tried to move on, he still carries a torch for Erica and hopes to reconcile, which his two children view as an unhealthy obsession because it is interfering with his writing. But the trouble between Bill and Erica has lasting effects on their children in different ways, including Sam, who channels her anger towards her mother into unhealthy relationships of her own. Rusty, meanwhile, pines for a troubled young woman at his school, which gets in the way of his own writing ambitions. <laughs> I guess I just, I, I wouldn't want you to think that I don't think about us, you know, and all those years that we spent together, because I do think about. Coming in at number nine is Only the Brave. Jennifer Connelly playing his steely-eyed wife Amanda, who doesn't like his dangerous occupation, but Eric's pride in his team overrules all as their brotherhood is connected by a deep commitment, unrivaled courage, and a boundless dedication to saving lives. Together, the hotshots leap from wildfire to wildfire, doing more than their jobs, making personal sacrifices, and endangering their lives to snuff out the most dangerous blazes. But when a massive fire erupts on Yarnell Hill, threatening thousands, Eric and his team's skill and resolve will be put to the ultimate test. All the while, Amanda waits at home, pregnant and praying that her husband will make it back alive, featuring an ensemble cast including Jeff Bridges, Miles Teller, Andy McDowell, and Taylor Kitsch. The film impressed critics and audiences as a fierce and terrifying look at the best firefighters in the nation and one of the most tragic incidents in the history of the profession. Once you get a real hard taste of the bitch at work, there's only one thing you're gonna be able to see, and that's fuel. Next up at number eight is Little Children. Kate Winslet and Jennifer Connelly star as dueling lovers of the good-natured Brad Adamson in the 2006 dark romantic drama Little Children. While convicted child predator Ronnie is roaming free and the community fears for their young ones, disaffected Sarah Pierce leaves her husband and begins a flirtation with a married Brad, who she meets at a park where both their children play. Back home, Brad deals with his manipulative wife Kathy, who begins to have suspicions that Brad and Sarah are involved. When Brad's friend Larry, a former cop, antagonizes Ronnie and accidentally injures his mother, it sets off a disastrous chain of events. With their romance eventually exposed, Brad and Sarah plan to leave everything behind and run away together. But a terrifying confrontation and an unexpected accident in the film's final scenes threaten their romance and perhaps even one of their lives. You should be careful, Brad. I'll be careful. Thomas? Yeah. At number seven, we have Alita, Battle Angel. Some of the characters are augmented with impressive CGI motion capture that gives them unique stylized looks, but Conley is able to eschew the enhancements in her role as Dr. Chirin, the former wife of Alita's mentor, Dr. Ito, Waltz. 
The film follows the mysterious Alita, a young orphan girl taken in by cyborg scientist Ito, who tries to give her a new life. But as new dangers emerge around her, Alita sets out to discover who, or what, she really is, and why she possesses lethal skills. Her quest puts her on a collision course with a diabolical criminal syndicate and its leader, the villainous vector, Ali. An over-the-top dystopian adventure, what Alita lacks in soulful drama it more than makes up for in sheer spectacle. <laughs> Taking the number 6 spot is Blood Diamond. In the devastated nation, rebel warlords enslave local citizens to mine for diamonds that are sold to pay for the conflicts, creating a vicious and perpetuating cycle of death. An enslaved family man, Solomon Vandy, discovers a rare pink diamond and is determined to steal it for himself. After finding himself imprisoned alongside smuggler and mercenary Danny Archer, the two decide to work together to get the prize gem and change their fortunes forever. With the help of an intrepid American reporter named Maddie, who is in the region to expose the horrors of the diamond industry, they will brave their way through enemy territory and face down brutal rebel armies to get what they're after. And I look around and I realize God left this place a long time ago. All right, folks, listen up. If you're enjoying the content on this channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button and give the video a good old fashioned thumbs up. Let's show the creator some love, shall we? Halfway through our list at number five is Labyrinth. This 1986 musical fantasy film that stars 16 year old Conley not only sheds light on Connolly's talents, but it also opened up new gates for her, as this film brought her the much-deserved big break. Labyrinth is a movie that takes the viewer to a world of goblins and talking worms. With David Bowie taking up the role of Jared, the Goblin King, we see a young Connolly leading the film with her performance as Sarah Williams, the protagonist. The story follows Sarah on her adventure of trying to save her baby brother. As the story progresses, we see massive character development in Sarah, which is perfectly delivered by Connolly. This film is one that is definitely noteworthy when focusing on Connolly's performances. Take this labyrinth, even if you get to the center, you'll never get out again. That's your opinion. Well, it's a lot better than yours. Coming in at number four is Dark City. Connolly takes up the role of the protagonist, John Murdoch's wife, Emma Murdoch, in this 1998 sci fi movie that is often deemed an underrated masterpiece. The film follows the story of a world where human memories are newly fabricated when the hands of the clock reach 12. Emma's character brings in the many necessary emotions by emphasizing on her relationship with the protagonist. In an astounding performance of Frank Sinatra's Sway, we see Connolly combine her vocal talents with her performative skills to showcase the emotional elements of the film. Connolly's performance as Emma is quite heartwarming, as we see this particular character being the ray of hope that ends Dark City in a positive light. It was last night in, your, in our apartment and everything you remember and everything that I'm supposed to remember never really happened. Someone just wants us to think it did. Breaking into the top three is House of Sand and Fog. House of Sand and Fog is a 2003 psychological film by Vadim Perelman that is based on the 1999 novel of the same name. Connolly takes on the role of Kathy Nicolo, who is a recovering drug addict. The film takes us through Kathy's whirlwind of a story. We see her go through some harsh roots. This particular film sheds light on important issues like racism, social hierarchy, addiction, and mental health problems. Taking over Kathy's role is definitely no easy task. It is obvious that the delivery of such a performance is an intense experience for Connolly. 
Peter Travers warns the audience to prepare for an emotional wipeout due to the brilliant execution of this film. Thus, Connolly's Kathy Nicolo is a performance that is striking and has the ability to leave a lasting impression on the viewer. I wanted kids. He didn't want kids. But I guess if he really wanted me, he would have wanted me too. At number two, we have a beautiful mind. This 2001 film by Ron Howard is based on John Nash's, a Nobel laureate in economics, extraordinary life. A beautiful mind casts Russell Crowe as John Nash and Connolly as Nash's wife, Alicia Nash. The film follows Nash's struggle with schizophrenia and focuses on how his mind ultimately learns to accept and live with mental illness. Even though Connolly takes on a supporting character, she was able to win the 2002 Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress, among other awards. Alicia Nash's character is as complex as that of the protagonist. As John Nash's wife, she had to face many challenging circumstances. Connolly was able to capture the complexities as well as the emotional depths of Alicia's character perfectly, in turn, allowing her to gain many awards for this particular role. Who are you talking to? It's not her fault. John. She'll compromise us again. No, she won't. You'll go back to the hospital. John, answer me! Countless people will die. Alicia, please, put the phone down! And finally, taking the number one spot on our list is Requiem for a Dream. Darren Arafonsky's Requiem for a Dream is one of the most nihilistic movies ever made. It is definitely not an easy watch as it takes the viewer on a hectic journey, in turn, evoking many emotions on them. Connolly takes over the role of Marion Silver, the protagonist, Harry Goldfarb's girlfriend. One interesting fact about this casting is that Connolly was not the initial choice for Marion's role, as Neve Campbell was the first choice. However, following Campbell's turning down of the role, Connolly took over and delivered an extraordinary performance. Marion's character goes through some brutal experiences as we see her forced to sell herself for money. Thus, portraying such a character requires the actor to go through many hardships. Nevertheless, Connolly was able to accomplish these challenges, as her performance of Marion is one that is still highly appreciated. Requiem for a Dream, 2000. Marion? Yeah. I'm really sorry, Marion. I know. Throughout her illustrious career, Jennifer Connelly has consistently demonstrated her remarkable versatility and depth as a performer. From the haunting intensity of Requiem for a Dream to the charming and adventurous spirit of the Rocketeer, her filmography is a tapestry of captivating performances that have left an indelible mark on the cinematic landscape. As we've explored the top 10 films that showcase her exceptional talent, it's clear that Jennifer Connelly is a true master of her craft, a cinematic icon whose influence and impact will continue to resonate for generations to come.